Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence with a quick Wix tutorial. With your Wix site linked up to Google Tag Manager, you can track specific click events on your Wix website. For example, on my site here, I could track every time someone clicks this text link right here if I wanted to. So to do that, you'd first have to sign in to your Google Tag Manager account uh, and find the container that's linked to your Wix website. If you don't know how to do that, uh, I'll link to another video where I explain how to link this container to your Wix website. So I'm going to click on this one because I already linked it to my site. My next step is to click variables on the left hand side. And then I'm going to click the red button that says configure. And then you need to find click text and check it. And then go back and click triggers on the left hand side menu. Might have to click once to get out of that menu that was popped up on the right. Then I'm going to click new and then click in this box here to open up a new trigger configuration and the trigger type that we're going to select here is all elements and then the trigger should fire when uh, on some clicks so we don't want it to fire on all clicks but some clicks and we can use click text that contains so I want to go back to my site to see what the text so the text for the link is which website builder is best for you so I can just select that whole text copy that and go back to this configuration and I could use equals here but I think contains will work just as well so I put that text in click save and then we're gonna just call this home page click or actually let's call it website builder link and click save and if I go back to that configuration, I want to point out one other thing. You can add other conditions here. So I could have um, a page URL that contains a certain path to your website, like new page, for example, because maybe this text here is in multiple links on that page, but you only want to track a certain link that's going to this page. So that's just an example. Um, in my case, it doesn't matter because I only have this text one place on the page. So I'm going to remove that. I just wanted to show you there are some other conditions available. So I'm going to click Save. So now that we've created this uh, new trigger here, I need to apply it to a tag. So I'm going to click on Tags, click New, and then first select that trigger we just created called Website Builder Link and then choose a tag type which again is going to be Google Analytics and the type is going to be an event we want to send an event to Google Analytics and we're going to give it a category action and label these don't matter too much but they're for your own organization I was going to say click or I'll call this page event The action can be click and the label will be website builder link. I'm going to click save. Give that a name, that tag a name. Now that I've finished all these changes, I'm going to click submit and then publish the change. Got to give it a name. So now the tag changes are published to the website. So if I go to the website and I'm just going to refresh it and then click on this page link that we're now tracking. It should track that live event. You see I'm under real time events. So Google Analytics is tracking that page event. Action is click. And also if I go into behavior and events overview, make sure to change the time frame to today it will show that event here eventually but right now it still hasn't updated it's still showing as a live event if I go back to real-time events I'll still see it there so once it clears out of here and the uh, visitor leaves the page and the session ends it'll show in your stats so it's pretty complicated but that's how you create a click event with Google Tag Manager on your Wix website.